Good evening, everybody. It's me, Kim. Just coming back to you with a review on Huda Beauty. Yes, I um, went to my local Sephora again, and um, I'm looking for my Mad Fine and Primer, and then I ran across this. Now, I know people reviewed this already, but it's my first time, and guess what? Now I'm reviewing it. How about that? And um, I got it in the shade Mocha, but I went and got samples of three mattifying moist primers. One of them is Sephora, the other one is Murad, and then the third one is Makeup Forever Base uh, Mattifying Primer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swatch the Murad because that's the one I really want to test out on my oily skin. And she gave me a little sample. So let's just see how it works with the Huda, Huda Beauty. So let's put the Murad on first. And guess what? Epic fail. They broke off this morning. I tell you. Nails. So let's just put this on our face and uh, rub it in. Now, they say Murad is good. I want to try this stuff out. I was like, I want to see what it's about. You know, they, everybody keeps saying, Kim, this is what you need. This is what you need. So let's just see. This is what I need. Because I'm telling you, my face be so oily sometimes. It feels like has a nice scent. It has a really nice scent. Oh my god, I wish you could smell through the camera. Oh my god, it smells so refreshing. Oh wow. Okay. Let's see what Huda talking about. I don't even get into the controversy about who said what when it comes to this 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 um Mm, this makeup world, I don't got time for it. If I like something, I'm going to review it. Okay? So this is the package that it comes in. And it's a really cute bottle. It's plastic. And, um, comes in a pump. So, and it says that, that is mattifying. No, it don't say it's mattifying. What they say about Huda? I'll put the specs in below. I'm here to see how it do. Okay, so I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, foundation brush, powder brush. I always use this to put my makeup on. I just like how it feels on my face. I washed all my brushes out today, too, so I'm starting with a clean slate. Ain't nothing mixing with nothing. So we're going to put a pump, just one pump, because I want to see what it do. And it's like a nice, generous pump. And I'm just going to pat it on. Oh, I didn't correct. Mm. But guess what? I still got time. Hold tight. Yeah, I want to correct under my eyes. So, you know, I always go on my corrector with the um, LA Colors corrector. You know, so hold tight. You go to my mirror right here. I'm so glad I didn't put it all the way up there just yet. They said who the beauty is full coverage. So, I just put a little bit of that on. And I'm going to stipple it out with my Huda I mean <laughs> Huda okay we might be doing something with the HD foundation brush just a little I still want it to show. I don't want to put it in all the way. Just a little. Okay, so now that we've corrected under our eyes, still ain't touched that foundation, so we good to go. I get into the corners a little bit. Okay, now that we've corrected under our eyes, let's just put another pump on here just for, you know. Okay, see? And Mocha seems, oh, you know what? I think we can work with Mocha. I've tested out a lot of the brands, and I think Mocha was the closest. Now, I, I did swatch Nutmeg, and it just was a little too dark because, you know, I tested it right here. It was just a little too dark. And I used to do the one with the here and then here. But now I'm starting to, you know, test it out on my chest to see if it matches between my neck and my face. Um, my neck and my face. You know what I mean. <laughs> my face and my chest. 
Alright, so let's just put a little bit on. Oh, not too much, though. Let's just go ahead and stipple it in. Um, I guess we're wiping this one in. I think my brush is still a little damp. It'll be just like a beauty blender. And we don't need to put no more on our brush. I think that's enough. But we don't want to. I mean, it says full coverage, but you know, sometimes you don't want full, full coverage. You want to look natural as possible. And sometimes, you know, foundations can make you look too cakey. Let's try to bring it down as much as we can to our neck area. I'm gonna, I think I might need another brush to get in my corners and my eyes. One piece of hair. But so far. Now let's see if this oxidizes because I. I don't want it to oxidize too much. You know, sometimes when you look inside, when you get your foundation and you look at the bottle, it looks totally different from how it looks on your face. And plus, I don't want it too orange. But this, this one has a golden undertone, so they say, but on the camera, it's coming up a little orangey. Just a little orangey. I don't know. But let's um, put some concealer on. And um, believe it or not, guys, I forgot the name of this concealer because the writing wore off. But uh, I don't know. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It's not real light, light. It's just just enough to kind of like bring out a little, a little bit. Um, see, you can't really see it on my forehead. You see it on my chin and on my under my eyes, but. You can't even really see it on my forehead. And we're going to go in with the same HD foundation brush we did with the um, corrector. See, it gives you just enough highlight, not to be noticeable, but noticeable. You know what I mean? Can you tell? Bring it out just a little. And I only used a little bit. I don't use a lot. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little lipstick on. So I'm gonna go in with my um, Milani, um, what is this? Oh, Milani Sugar Plum. M Milani Sugar Plum uh, liner, pencil. And like, you know, I always have my mirror right here. And I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. 
uh, cruelty free. What's the name of this? Um, what we got here? Blushing Rose by Elf. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the color. And we're going to just put a little bit of that in the center of our lips. Sometimes I lose my um my liner when I um smooch too much, so I'll just go back over it a little bit. Okay, so I have enough color on my face. So, I'm not going in with no, or should I? Might as well. Might as well do the, might as well do the highlight. Let me get my brush. Okay, you know my favorite contour palette by um, Lac Radiance. And that's my highlight. And you know, it goes a long way, so I don't have to put a lot of that on. Can you see it? Let me put a little bit more on. Yeah. You can see it. See, I'm that type of girl. I measure twice and cut once. So I know if I need to put a little bit more or whatever on. Never going with never going with a lot. I always start with a little. Okay, so no blush, that's it. Okay. So let's see how this wears. I really got high, high hopes for this um, Murad mattifier and primer. I really do. And um, so far, it feels like it's controlling it because you know how I am when I sit in my room, y'all. Before I even finish my makeup, I'm sweating. But like, um, I don't see, I don't see nothing coming through, and I don't feel nothing coming through. Um. But I see this hot light popping though. Okay. Okay, girl. But um, let's see um how it does. And this Huda Beauty. Let's see if these two can work together. If these two work together, girl, we got a, we got a winner. Let's just see if these two work together. Because you know, sometimes a primer can work different with a foundation. Like, you know, you gotta like find out what two work the best together just like a relationship you know what i'm saying so let's just see how it works out and um like you know i gotta make one run and then when i come back i'm gonna watch a couple um shows on tv and then i'm gonna come back and you know let y'all know how i feel about both of these the murad and the huda beauty and again that's murad um uh, he's a dermatologist too I've been, you know, looking up on him. He's a some type of uh, um, dermatologist for um, the stars or something, and he came up with a, a mattifying primer for some models or something. And um, ever since then, I think he, you know, went on and made his own um, line of everything. And um, so that's what they said about him. And um, he has a whole line of um, skin skincare products. And um, so let's just see how this works, okay? Um, and Huda Beauty. Let's just see how she works, okay? 
and I'll be back guys. Okay, y'all, I am so happy to come back with the rest of this review. Like, I am really ecstatic right about now. Like, I am really excited. Like, I just cannot believe how much this Murad controls the oils in my skin. And I am telling you, no lie, this stuff really, really works. Huda Beauty, I know this is a full coverage foundation, but, like, I really... I'm not sweating guys and I'm telling you I was out and I was doing some errands and I know it wasn't a lot of errands but and it is nighttime so it's really not the high high sun but guess what I'll take anything when it comes to staying oil free but like literally like yo I have not blotted not one time I, I, I I'm so damn happy y'all I can cry I can cry I just wish I had a, um, figured this out during the summer months, but like, I don't know, it was that one girl video I came across, I don't even know her name, but she, she was saying like how excited she was too, because she said she's really oily like me, but like, I am really, really, really impressed. Okay, thumbs up to Murad, like, Doc, you knew what she was doing, because like, I, I, I'm not even going to hype this up a lot, because it's still, you know, I might have that one day. But as far as I'm talking about right now, like, on oh, some real, shh, I am really, I'm really liking this stuff right here. And, um, the Huda Beauty, I really can't, I like the, the foundation, don't get me wrong. And I'm not going to say anything bad about Huda Beauty, because I ain't got nothing bad to say about it. Because I do like this foundation. But if I, if I had to use them separately, you know, it would have been something different, but... I just wanted to do, the, you know, the two at one time. Now, I got to go and get this Murad stuff. I think it retails for, like, $45. Yeah. I think it retails for, like, $45. But guess what? This $45 is going to be worth every damn penny. But the Huda Beauty, I shouldn't have said but. And Huda Beauty, I'm, I'm satisfied with this product, too. Um, it... I don't know, like, I'm telling you, this Murad made a difference. I don't know if it was the Murad, but it made a, it made a, um, the, the application. And I don't know, it was something about this whole concept thing um, with these two together. It was really a good match. So, um, but, you know, the Huda Beauty, they say, what they say about this Huda Beauty stuff? Huda Huda. I said it right. This was, it says, um, it's a high coverage cream foundation effortless application camouflages imperfections and pigmentation soft focus filter finish and you know what yeah it did even though I did do color correcting but like I usually have to do a little bit more on one of these eyes but I really can't tell the difference you know what I'm saying because it did cover I don't see any creasing I think the color match was good. I mean, I think that this built well. You know what? In my mirror, looks like I matched the color really good. You know, I brought it down my neck, so I think I did good with this Huda and this um, Murad. So now, gotta go to Sephora, buy a bottle of the Murad. Um, it's called Murad Oil and Pore Controlling Mattifying Primer. And y'all, I'm going to get me some. But so that's the end of this video, y'all. Thank you for coming back. And thank you for liking and subscribing.